Okay, so this is a version that we really uh, enjoy. It is a smaller version. Like I said, it's more affordable. You've got like this leather Memory wood foam. thing going on up here on the edge here. That lets you know that's a slide out. Yeah, the edge means slide out. So chairs instead of a bench, we like that better. And then we've got this memory foam stuff, the same kind of thing that you saw over there, only a different color basically. So. Remember, six foot tall. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, six foot tall guy. There's two, there's enough for two. You're not usually going to get any bigger than that. You watching this probably are about his size, if not a little smaller. So I'm just going to pick this up and walk around. You know, you see you've got your edges here to set stuff on, book storage, storage above his head, fireplace, TV, radio, storage, a regular refrigerator. Nope. Uh, not a regular, RV, RV refrigerator, sorry. RV refrigerator. Standard home. Because the clasp on this one is underneath the handle. You flip it out, it's on lock and pull out. It's not as deep as the double door and it's not as, definitely not as wide. But like I said, uh, I don't like chicken salad so I think I'm a lot. So it's not a lot of food but it's enough. It's uh, enough. You might be buying food as you go out which is also okay. The yeah, stove top, the oven. Think That's where we came in. I'm actually sitting the camera on the island. Here's uh, more storage space over here as you come back around to where you're sitting you know no wine rack or anything in this one <laughs> which i'll have to deal with yeah i mean that's okay and they once again they have the um cutting boards that cover this they just don't have it in here it's just not out it's the display model some things get taken more stolen okay use them as frisbees or whatever so one of the two reasons why i like having a table and chairs instead of the bench is let's see if this is locked and take this down. It creates a little bit more space here. And I can do this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you have more options this way. Instead of it being where it is, and that's just where it is, and you just have to sort of try and figure it out around there. And all the chairs strapped down to the floor, and the table's not, not movable. Mm -hmm. So it's also bolted. It just has nice little black coverings on it. Um, the reason why I like this is the space is well used. It's got a lot of air circulation. It's got two skylight vents. So if it gets hot in here, or if I'm traveling and I know it's going to be hot where I'm going, I can travel with those open a little bit and let the air circulate in here and circulate out. This is going to be my main air conditioning unit. So all the AC is going to come out of there right onto my prep area. Where I'll be most of the time. Mm -hmm. And it's close to my small oven. Which we didn't show you last time. This is a tiny, tiny oven. You can remove this rack. You move this rack and just cook on the bottom. So if you need a deep dish, you may. And here at the RV store, they have all kinds of stuff that helps you do that kind of thing. If you want to use your regular ones, you can. Yeah, there's no. I was just making sure. This is just more storage, but I was just making sure there wasn't like a, a hidden wine rack or something. A remote control for your RV. Yeah, so you can control your heating, your air conditioning. These are all the... You're, you're not spinning anything. These are all buttons. Oh, come on, camera. There we go. These are all buttons. You push them, it pushes it out. You push them one way, it puts them back in. You're done. It's not difficult at all. Alright. And this is the bathroom I like because it feels like it's got more space now. Because be light. it goes through. Yeah, because it's got a through and through. If I need to go from the bath, you know, from the bath to the bed, like I like to do. It's got the frosted glass again. I'll probably take this out and just put a sh shower curtain on there. Because you can modify almost every aspect of this thing. So. So, in the shower, you know, the showers are not super, super impressive, but they get the job done, is my thing. Yeah, it is. Once again, six foot by two foot. I fit almost perfectly in this thing, so it's enough just to get in, wash off the salt water from the beach, or the grime of the convention. <laughs> yeah. Because, I mean, I, that's what I thought about using this for. I'm a StarCraft player, so I, I need something to travel in while I'm in the States. Just, uh, travel. Okay. 
Uh, there's really a lot of ways to make these spaces yours. I mean, my, my husband and I, to add some comfort, we will often take our own pillows. So, yeah, there's storage. Okay. With some rugs in there for some reason. <laughs> I don't know what that's all about. For your towel. A little hook for your towel. And it goes all the way through. So, this is all you're like. You can put whatever in there. That's There's a beam in there for hanging your clothes. And you can put your shoes down there in the bottom as well right, if you like. The... So, more hanging area, more place to put things. Uh, there's a big surface over there with a drawer and then and, an outlet. and outlets your AC is here your lights are gonna be at your feet along with your AC and then your vent and then that's where you'd put a television if you're interested in a television in your room and I wouldn't be because especially in this space I, I would just want this this space to be my sanctum my dark hole <laughs> yeah your sanctum sanctorum basically <clears throat> so as you can see again like it gets the job done basically and it's it's your space you know what I'm saying it's your space and that's what we love about it the most. We are introverts who love to travel. We want to see the world. But at the same time, I don't want to, for example, when I go to my sister-in-law's house, they offer me my niece's bed. <laughs> I just don't want to stay in my niece's bed. Like, it's very nice of them. It's not, I'm not saying that that's an awful thing to do. But at the same time, right, when I'm staying at these places, I, I want my own space. I need a place to sort of recharged from dealing with family because not everyone in the family is, you know, introverted. <laughs> you know, we have extroverts, we have everybody who wants to do everything, wants to talk to you all day long. And uh, I find that if, for example, I'm using my niece's room, I don't believe that I can go in there and later on at a later date and take a couple hours by myself, to myself, not interrupted. There's very few people, there's like my husband who I married, who's also an introvert, so he understands and we don't bother each other in, our, in the space. We, we can be in the space and it's fine. Then there's Zifnab, he's also an introvert and he understands, so we can be in a space and it's fine, we don't bother each other too much. Now there are times when I don't want to see either one of them, <laughs> you know, or I just want it to myself, he does, you know, and it's, and it's not them, it's just that's how we are as introverts. If you're introverted and you're watching this, you understand it's not that you hate people or whatever, it's just they can be very draining. And this gives you, no matter what size it is, your space to make yours and to give you that time away from people to just sort of refresh and then to go back out and do it again.